Hello, I have another battery testing video for you. I wanted to buy myself a few rechargeable 9V batteries and I noticed a wide variety of them on eBay from China. So I decided to buy some samples and see how good they are. I paid from 5 to slightly more than 10 dollars a piece delivered. These uh, were $10 a pair, and this was uh, $10, this was $6, and this was uh, $10.50 or something. They have different capacity from 600 to 900 milliamp hours, and they are not really 9 volt batteries. They have two lithium ion cells inside with the nominal voltage of 3.7 volts per cell. So the nominal voltage of the batteries is 7.4 volts and the maximum charging voltage is 8.4. But usually it's not a problem. Most gadgets can work down to about 6 volts or so. Not always. If not, then not the whole capacity of these batteries will be used. But in most cases it works just fine. I'm going to use this lab supply to charge the batteries and this electronic load to discharge them. I showed this setup many times in my previous videos about batteries. I will not repeat myself here. I will put links below if you are interested. And I'm going to charge and discharge them at point 2C which in this case of 900 milliamp hour battery means 180 milliamps and as you can see it is charging now at 180 milliamps so i will collect the data on my computer and we will discuss the results here we have the results i run the test twice for each battery except this one because it failed I hooked it up to the power supply to charge and when I came back after a while it appeared charged. The voltage was 8.4 volts and it was not taking any more current. But when I turned off the power supply the voltage dropped to zero. So there was no output at all from the battery. And look, it bulged here. Something went really wrong with this battery. Let's look at these two batteries. These are 600 milliamp hour batteries and I labeled them here, one and two. And here I have two tests for each. This is battery number one, discharge number one at uh, point 2C, which is 120 milliamps in this case. And if we discharge any battery at point 2C, it should last exactly 5 hours. In this case it took 4.85 hours to discharge and if we multiply that by 120 milliamps we will get this um, 582 milliamp hours which is about 97% of the rated capacity of 600 milliamp hours. Not bad at all. Let's see. The second discharge, it was very close to the first one, 4.83 hours and uh, again about 97% of the rated capacity. Here we have battery number two, discharge number one, very very close to the first one, 4.89 hours and 98% of the rated capacity. And discharge number two, Again, very, very close to previous ones, 4.85 hours. So these two batteries performed quite consistently and showed the capacity very close to the rated capacity. Now this one. The rated capacity is 650 milliamp hours. And I measured 580 milliamp hours, which is about 89% of the rated capacity. This was discharge number one. 
And discharge number two showed something very, very close to that. 585 milliamp hours or 90% of the rated capacity. Now these two. They are rated at 680 milliamp hours. I labeled them as well, one and two. And here we have two tests for each. This is battery number one, discharge number one. And it showed about 507 milliamp hours or about 75% of rated capacity. And the discharge number two was almost identical to the first one, so I didn't even bother to calculate here. And the second battery showed almost identical results as well. 3.8 hours and 3.78 hours. Very consistent results and about 75% of the rated capacity. And finally, this one. It is rated at 900 milliamp hours, but look at this. 2.9 hours, which is 522 milliamp hours or 58 percent of the rated capacity. And the discharge number two was a bit better, three hours, 540 milliamp hours and still about 60 percent of the rated capacity. So here we have it. As a conclusion I should say that these seem to be very honest batteries they are rated at 600 and they deliver almost exactly that. These are slightly overrated and these are overrated even more. This one failed and this is way overrated. The actual capacity was even lower than these. And to be fair, I should say that uh, one or two samples is not nearly enough to draw any serious conclusions. But that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.